Have you ever had high expectations and you never meet them? Or let's say you have normal expectations or low expectations and you exceed them? You always go up and down with expectations, right? You expect something and sometimes it's not as reality. They always have that expectation versus reality, right? So today, I wanna to tell you exactly how to manage your expectations and how to take care of false expectations. This is your captain speaking. And one thing about expectations is we put expectations on everything. We put expectations on people, we put expectations on events, we have expectations wherever we go. And sometimes, you know, the best feeling is when we have high expectations and it's actually high and they meet it. Or let's say we have no expectations or low expectations and it exceeds the expectations. But the best one thing to do when it comes to expectations with people, with relationships, with traveling with whatever event or whatever's going, whatever experience, is to actually have zero expectations. And what does that mean? Um, with people, this is what I say. Always see everyone, even people you know, your loved ones, every time you meet them, see them as a blank canvas. What does I mean by a blank canvas? I'm saying an artist, right? When an artist who has draw, drew millions of paintings, but when people work with art or any kind of art, they always stay, start with something blank. And that's how something's created. So. One thing with expectations is leave it blank. Uh, have zero expectations, and what does that mean, right? It's so hard in reality to like have zero expectations, but see everything as a blank page, see everything as zero, see everything as neutral. Then you always have a moment to really exceed what you wanted, or you always have something interesting or something awesome to experience. So one way to manage expectations is just have none. I know it's harder than it sounds, right? Because we have these life experiences, all this past, where we want expectations. We're like, oh, if I did this, there should be an expectation. But I'm telling you right now, it's like, like depriving yourself of sugar or salt or something, a flavor for a long time in your life, and then you finally get to taste that flavor. That's what having zero expectations is like. Obviously, some things in life have those expectations and you know, set goals and stuff like that, but when you meet a person, when you meet your next family member, see them as a blank canvas, be like, what is, this something about this person that I've known my whole life. What is something new I can learn about him? What is a new picture they could draw for me? So instead of drawing a picture before you do anything, before you meet someone or try something new, come in with a blank canvas and see how your life changes. So now I want to talk about expectation versus reality. So I know, let's say you're coming out on a date, you had a nice date with a girl, and she just matches your vibe. She gets all the checklists off. She's smart, she's beautiful, she's fashionable. She just meets everything that you thought of your dream girl. But it's only been one date. And all of a sudden you're thinking about wifey material, committing to her, oh man, she's like the perfect girlfriend. And some people call this one eyes or whatever, but honestly it's just your expectation. You put these expectations that she's your dream girl, she's gonna be your wife, she, you're like, you're never gonna find a girl like this. The moment you put these expectations on a woman, first, she will feel pressure. When you actually meet with her, you're gonna start being needy. You're gonna start expecting things out of her. When you do stuff for her, you're gonna have all these expectations, right? But the reality is you don't even know her. But honestly, you met her for what, one, two hours on a date, and you think you know everything about her? Cool, she graduated from her go to school. Cool, she looks nice. Cool, she's pretty. But to truly know a person, think about the closest friend you have. How many years did it take you for her to know that person? It's the same thing with a girl. You're gonna wife up a girl, you're gonna think she's wifey material because she has the same values as you. So that's something you gotta understand. Expectations reality is never the same. That's why I always say it has zero expectations that you could create your own reality. That's what I believe. I think the more you have expectations in life, the more you expect something. It's hard to really squeeze the juice out of life because you're expecting juice to come out. You're expecting you're squeezing lemons and lemonade's gonna always come out. But that's not how life works. Sometimes life sucks. Sometimes life's tough. Sometimes life's awesome. But that's the whole point. Set no expectations and you'll always get a surprise. It's like those um, machines, right? You twist it, twist it, twist it. You put a quarter in and you don't know what gift will come out. But either way, let's say it's any kind of gift you want, you're still happy with the gift. You set no expectations in life, you always get a gift in life. So having no expectations is you always get a gift from life. And that's why they say this, right? Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift. 
and that's why we call it the present. So enjoy life by setting no expectations and be appreciative of whatever it gives you, the good and the bad. It has been a pleasure serving you. Captain Daniel, out. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.